Hi, this is Anne with an anagram on uploading your week's uh, files to do your coding and quiz work and uh, getting them to run, verifying everything's working, and then maybe a couple of quick hints on um, changes you'll have to make. Please have patience with this process this week. It's unfamiliar to you. Um, it may seem like a lot of overhead. What you'll find is that by week three or four, uh, this process probably takes you um, substantially less time than it takes me to describe it, probably just a few minutes at a time, and you can get straight to your coursework. But this time, you just need to take it slow, uh, go carefully, and make sure that you've done all this, you've walked all the steps. So um, this video starts at the point where I have my basic container structure. I have folders for the two courses that I'm taking this semester. I have an index file that's going to allow me to um, access those, walk down the, the file tree as I um, show myself pages. And um, my, my container is currently not running. Um, my cat is, however, currently complaining. So if you hear meows in the background, just ignore him, I'm trying to. Uh, so I run my server, and I have two links here for my two courses. If I click through to COSI 1010, I have an index file that I haven't changed yet, so um, one of the things you'll need to do for the the week is change this to your name. And then this has links, but if I try to go to those links, there are no files there yet, so I get an error message. So let's just go back, okay? And if I go to my machine, this is the, the log from my server. Um, it looks a little horrid, but actually I think over time you're gonna find this, inf this information fairly useful. Uh, basically, you just don't want to look at it right now, so be looking at some file that you want to work with. Um, I wouldn't close that necessarily because you, it may indeed have information you want. So simply ignore it until the day comes when we need to look at it. If I, okay, so I'm here. Um, I want to grab my week two f files for COSI 1010, and I have already downloaded and unzipped those, so I have a folder here. Uh, with all of the folders for each of the exercises this week and with this review.md file that I'm going to use to give you um, feedback on the work that you do. So the easiest way to uh, get the whole week's worth of work would be to simply upload this whole thing. And I'm going to go ahead and do that this time. Um, some points you may need to actually create a week two because you're going to get different zip files for different parts of the week's work. But since this week I have everything prepared and it's already in one folder that you've downloaded, I'm going to go to the folder that contains that. I'm going to come over here to my COSI 1010 and upload and simply drag week two over to here. That was a right click, by the way. I forget that, that you can't see my fingers on the keyboard. So when I came over here to get that context menu, that's a right click. Um, probably up here. Huh. I would have thought there'd be a menu option up there for it too. But at any rate, in order to get that context menu, you do have to right click and choose upload. Okay. So now that I've done that, I have a nice week two folder here. Okay, it has folders inside it. And if I have done my, um, this file that I gave you the contents of this week, if I did that right, if I go back here to this page, and um, I'm gonna close that one, I click on this, I get the same uh, links I got before, but if everything's lined up right, this actually opens the snake game. If I go back, this opens task number one, the um, Hello World. And um, these links that you see here, they refer to the folder, the folder inside that week two folder, and then the name of the HTML file that controls everything being run. So um, in later weeks, I may next week, I may give you 
these lines, but then as the weeks go by, you're just going to be adding sections like this to your page so that you have um, very formulaically every week you're going to have a link to each of the tasks that you do. When I am, let me just quickly um, talk about a couple of the tasks. Snake Game it relates to the the quiz and um, here's its run here it is running okay but the code that you're going to need to read is in this file called snake.js okay so if you click on that over here in the file explorer it opens up over here and um, your job for some of the questions in the in the quiz is simply to go down through here and read okay and you can either do that it's a fairly long file uh, but it is but it is also in its own little way pretty straightforward and a lot of the information that you need uh, the lines you need are right at the top so your choice is to either go down and look at everything which it wouldn't hurt you at all to go through and try and see how much of this you can read. Um, we do try hard to put comments in so that you, there are comments to explain things that might be obscure. But one of the things you can do is if you're looking for all the places where um, a color might be set is that you can do a control F, okay, and come down here and you get a little find control and you can simply ask the integrated development environment to show you all of the places where the word color appears. And um, it shows you that a couple of different ways. You can see now that they've been underlined. Um, so we can see where background color is getting set. We can see where color gets set. That's the foreground text color. But I also can use this control down here to simply click through to each of the places where the word color is found in this file. Okay, so um, do take a look at the various uh, features of your IDE and try to use those to help you. I think that's good enough for this stage. Um, I do request, so if you find yourself stuck on something, put a note in Slack and I can try to do a quick vid to explain something that's stumping people. Um, just be totally certain that if something is confusing you, there are a bunch of other people who it also confuses, who aren't willing to ask a question yet. And for um, at least the first few weeks of the course, you do get um, extra credit points probably for asking questions in Slack. Um, that's all for now. <laughs>